All Rise, Aaron Sorkin's To Kill a Mockingbird is coming soon to a city near you. The national tour headed by Richard Thomas in the role of Atticus Finch. Let's go ahead and send it back out to Paul Wontorek. So excited to see you in To Kill a Mockingbird. You're going to hit you. the road in this iconic uh, character, Atticus Finch. That, yes. that name has a lot of weight to it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. He's, Atticus' his shoes are large. He, he, he takes up a lot of space in our, in our uh, cultural history and is very, a very important character. He's one of those characters who seems to be a real person. Mm. Uh, we think of him frequently not as, a, not as a character in a novel and then a film, but as actually a person. And uh, so it's going to be very exciting. Do you remember when this Harper Lee novel came out and the movie came out? You were a boy at the time, sure. and already in show business. Sure. Of course, I read it in school and, and was very moved and touched and frustrated and energized by it. Um, and then the film is just a wonderful, wonderful piece of film from that period uh, uh, with terrific performances. And so that, that became a part of my memory of it. You know, you think about it now and you put faces, one does, one puts film faces to characters in novels and it all gets, it all gets a little bit mixed up. So. But sure, it was a real presence for me growing up. I mean, for so many Americans. You're a real man of the theater. Mm -hmm. uh, you've done so many amazing things on, on stage in addition to all your great um, TV and film work. Aaron Sorkin <coughs> and uh, Bartlett Sher have created sort of an iconic new stage adaptation. So I feel like what Aaron Sorkin did with the text, it's perfect for today's audiences. A book is a book, and a film is a film, and a play is a play. Yeah. And what Aaron Sorkin has done is really made play of it. While sustaining the, the integrity of the, of the book, he managed to address issues in the play mm. that a modern, a contemporary audience would demand right. to be addressed. Uh, and without which, we would just be telling the story to get the emotional reaction we want everybody to have from To Kill a Mockingbird. So he's created a, a very faithful adaptation, but it's a new piece of work uh, entirely. And, and that, so it has its own value and its own integrity, and it's just brilliantly done. Yeah. And of course, you know, I'm, an, I'm a text actor, so I can't wait to say those words, because he writes fabulous words. Yeah, the relationship between Atticus and Scout is special. Sure You're a father is. yourself. I have it, many daughters. It, he's kind of <laughs> the uh, ultimate father figure to a lot of people. Is, yeah. that, is that special to you? Well, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, have five, I have five daughters, and two sons. The job for me is like, you know, you can't play important, mm -hmm. you can't play historic. Those things are all great generalities that, that can be in the mind of the audience. Mm -hmm. But if you place too many obligations of that type on top of yourself as a performer, you'll never find A, yourself in the piece, which yeah. is the only thing you have to offer. You just have to find the man who's trying to do what he thinks is the right thing under against great odds. Mm -hmm. And so if I can just find the person in there and not worry about the rest of it, yeah. then the audience will be able to have an immediate experience. And maybe instead of looking at Atticus as some sort of mythic, godlike character, you know, sort of a demigod up there, that they'll be able to find points of connection between themselves and him. Mm -hmm. Uh, just as people, so that's yeah. going to sort of be my job. You're going to look great in the suit. I can already picture it. Yeah, already the suit's pretty great. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to look great in the suit. Short, but good in the suit. <laughs> be because you've had such uh, an incredible career, audiences really feel a connection to you, and I think that I, is something that really will work for this role as you take it on the road. You, you must feel that relationship you have with audiences. I do. I love audiences. What's so exciting about about taking this show on the road? Yeah which is, by the way, a great show to take across the country. It's a, a, a show that I think will elicit profound responses from people across the country. Emotional, political, all kinds of stuff. It's gonna make all, it's gonna make all kinds of noise. And one of the great things about having been out a couple times before is I love the specific audiences in the specific town. There are different things they find funny and, you know, you know, we didn't get that laugh in Baltimore. Well, they didn't think it was funny. They, you know what they're like. They don't, well, they, they like this, but they, you know, the, the joy of the, of the road, if you've done it before, is that you, you, you come into a town having a feeling of the particular character and personality of that theater going audience. Mm -hmm. And it's very exciting, you know, not to mention the gorgeous theaters that you get to play. First time I did it, I thought there was something so ancient about this process. Yeah. 
of having a group of players together and going from city to city and bringing your play and setting it up and doing it and unpacking it and moving it on. And it makes such a wonderful connection with the, the history and the story of our profession. We also caught up with more of the stars of the Mockingbird National Tour. I um, started in the Broadway production as a cover for Tom Robinson, and so I got to um, steal from all the great performances and sort of craft my own. It feels like an honor um, with everything that's happening um, in America and in other parts of the world. It feels like an honor to be able to tell a story of a community of people that are terrorized and how that terror transforms other communities. This story is as much about um, the, how racism transforms a white community as it is about how it destroys a black family. I love Scout Finch as a character because she, I feel like, stands for so many things and I feel like can represent so many things to a number of different people. I think that there is a sense of innocence uh, throughout the play and throughout the book with Scout that I feel lucky to embody every single night. The show is so rooted in physicality, especially for the kids. We have to be able to embody nine-year-old, for me a nine-year-old, and for Jim uh, a little bit older. You know, it's, it's a challenge, but it's a very welcomed challenge. What excites me about it is um, I know a lot of people that will come um, have, some of them, a lifelong relationship with the book or with the movie. For those who might be younger, who uh, haven't read the book yet, who, you know, haven't seen the film, you know, they're really gonna be in for a wonderful, needed, necessary uh, evening at the theater. As a country, as a society, as a world, uh, part of me wishes we didn't need this story as much as we do. Everyone will be coming in from whatever walk of life they come in with. I don't think it's possible to experience this story, this play, this evening, and not feel something. This is a Broadway show and we're back in just a few.